So guys, that's right, welcome, it's finally time. The uh, Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Private Beta is out. So let's just uh, tab out of that and play some Minesweeper. Uh, so my intention this time is to do an actual 100% proper tutorial for people that just don't know how to play Minesweeper full stop because it turns out that like I was like brought up on it a little bit. Uh, but like a lot of people just weren't and it's just like some random numbers and squares and shit. So what I'm going to do for you and I'm going to do a real solid one. I'm going to I'm going to explain <clears throat> like the the rules, the basic rules and I'm going to like really slowly go through every single bit of logic I do for a, for a game or two and hopefully that'll start to like um you know like bridge the gap or whatever and everything will be fine. So what is Minesweeper? It's a grid and it's got a set of mines, so for easy, uh, it's got ten mines, ten mines in here. And your objective is to find all the mines without blowing any of them up, and to do it as quickly as possible. That's like the only score is the time. So when you click, the first click is always guaranteed to not be a mine, like using like video game fuckery magic. Um, so you can click anywhere to start with, and you can be pretty confident that you're not going to hit a mine. Sometimes you'll hit an island like this, so if you click in the an empty space where there's no mine and there's no mine nearby, it forms an island like this and it just blows up and, you know, it gives you all of the this info. Sometimes you'll click a number, if you click a number to start with, only that number will show up. <coughs> That's it. Um, what the numbers refer to? The numbers refer to how many mines each tile is touching. So this square is touching one mine, this square is touching one mine, this is touching one, this is touching one. So by process of elimination we can say, well this square is touching one mine, we know it's none of these, these are essentially zeros, these blank spaces, like there's no mines anywhere near these ones. So this one is touching one, so this must be a mine. Right, you right click to do that, you right click to mark a mine. And because we're confident that that's a mine, we click that one and a one is revealed. We're right. So these, each one of these squares is touching one mine, that's the one mine. So all these blank ones are touching zero. Um, that kind of logic I did on the corner is like 90% of this bloody game. So we can apply it here as well, and here as well. So this one, it's on its own. None of these squares are mine. This is touching one, and this is touching one. It's got to be that one. It's got to be that one. And so when you know that, you can click that one away, because this one's already touching one now. So that one couldn't have been one. And that's it. <coughs> Excuse me. God, I've got a little throat thing. So the same logic here. This one is touching a mine, so this corner must be a mine. But we now know, like, that this one is touching one now, so it's uh, only other, like, square that this one is touching can't be a mine. Get rid of that. And the same on this one. This one is only touching that one, so it can't be. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting, mind from mind sweeping friends. Uh, this is a two, different to a one. That means that this square is touching two mines and so is this one and this one and this one <clears throat> and we can use very very similar logic to what we just used to identify in this case this two is only touching this other square right this must be a mine and then following on from that this this square is now touching two mines we know where these two mines are so we can eliminate the ones that are around it all right <clears throat> so same logic here my throat is going while i'm doing this mine this is incredible <coughs> Hello. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just so dumb. <coughs> this, uh, this, same thing. So this is touching one. This is touching two. This is touching one. This two is only touching this square and this square now. So that's a mine. And now we know this one. Well, it's already touching this one. So that's not a that's not a mine. And this two, it's already touching two. So that's not a mine. And then we can go further. So this is a three. One, two, three. That square is touching three. That's not a mine. That's not a mine. So now we go down here <coughs> and we say, hey, we got a couple of twos here, but this two is only touching these two squares. That's a mine, baby. So now this two is touching two, but we're like, hey, it's got a spare square over here. Not a mine. Get out. Now we can carry this forward. This three, well, it's touching this one square and these two squares. That's it. That's the only. Th that's the only squares that this three can touch. So that's you know that's your mind. And then this is like 
the field has just like been blown apart by this because this two is now touching two mines. So this two is now touching this one up here and this one up here. So bam bam, both both of those surrounding things aren't 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 mines. That also eliminated like this square for this three. This it's touching three already. One one two three. It's touching three. And then same thing again. So this two already touching two. So you're just identifying where the mines, you know, the, the squares are already touching, there are a lot of amount of mines. This two is already touching these two, right? This two, well, we've got one mine marked. It's only touching one of the square. That's a mine. This two is now touching these two. Blank. This two now can only touch these two, and this is going to be our final mine, and then we get rid of that one. And that's Minesweeper, baby. <sighs> so, <clears throat> I hope that made sense. It doesn't save you high scores from yesterday, that really sucks. So if I do that real quick... Oh, okay. You know, like, you can blast through these bad boys. Easy as that. Using just that same logic that I was just explaining before. That's Minesweeper. That that really is the whole, th the whole game. So if I go on hard and, like, explain it, like, I... I probably won't play the whole game because it'll be here for fucking ever. But if I just click anywhere, <clears throat> the only difference between easy, hard, and medium is that the grid gets bigger and there's more mines. So we start doing the same logic as before. This one is in a corner. It's the only. It's only touching this square. That's a mine. And then we say, oh, that's touching one now, so that's not one. Oh my god, this one is touching one now. Uh, here's a pro technique. In Windows Minesweeper, you can double click it. I uninstalled that one because it has ads, but in Google, you can use the original controls to click both mouse buttons and that gets rid of all of the ones surrounding it. So that's a really good shortcut and we can use that to really speed up the game. So this one is touching one, so they're gone. This one's touching one. Uh, let's see, that one's touching one. That's touching one now. And now this three is surrounded and it's only touching these three, so let's get them. And now that three's got three and that two's got two and that one's got one. You know what I mean? Like this is the whole game. Like this, this is the shit I'll be doing when I retire. This one's touching this one. Get rid of them. That one's only touching this corner, but this four is surrounded only by this Tetris L shape here, you see? So don't be intimidated by big numbers. If you clear out the island around them, it'll start to become clear. Uh, <coughs> this is another common pattern. This three, with only a flat edge, like it's got like, you know, it's none of the other squares are even green around this three so it can only touch those three and that's given as this two so that two is clear and now I have to do that two but now it's touching one now I have to do that two you know it just fills itself out like Minesweeper really um, occasionally gives you a bullshit 50-50 choice but like nine times out of ten you'll be able to use logic so let's go down here like we've kind of exhausted this area like for certain mines down here what have we got well we've got that kind of flat three situation and this two on an edge so one, two, those are the only mines that it's touching, uh, the only squares that it's touching. Three, now it's touching three, great job. And now, because we've done those, this three is touching one, two, three down here, so we can double click that bad boy. Same with this, this three is now touching three, and this two is touching two, so for speed I'm just going to expand that two. This two is also touching two. Ooh, tasty four, tasty four, so that could be either of those at the moment. So let's, so that, that's my technique, like you, you get an island and you go straight for the corners, and then you can clear out that one and that gives us the one for the four just there. That that mystery is solved. We don't need this one anymore. That's already touching one. Get rid of that. That two is only touching these two squares. Click that bad boy. And now that gives us this two. And now this two. And now this one. And now we've got a whole island. That three is only touching these three. That's touching two now. That's touching one. That one's a corner. That corner, like a nice little nook. Uh, so we can clear out this one and this one. And now we've got that too, and now we get that too as well. This is the entire video now, so buckle in. Um, interesting, two out of those three are going to be one, but look at this. This 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 three is begging for us to do something, so what's going to happen here is, is only to show these three, so we give it that one. And it's like, oh, that three is now touching three, so let's get rid of them. And now this four can only touch these four, and now that four is touching four, so let's fucking fuck that one off. And then, and then that you know that one is in a corner. Back to basics. Get rid of that one. That one's the thing. Great. Now that two is only touching that one, so we can get rid of that and that and that and that. You know, you can just like chip away at those ones when it gives you those ones. 
around a mine. Um, get this one that's in this inner corner. Now you can get rid of that. This two is now touching two. This is touching three. One of these two is a mine. Uh, that's touching one of these two is a mine. Can't be, can't be this one because these two down here, there's a one here, so one of these two has to be. Uh, if this and this are both a mine. Oh, yeah, it's my own faulty logic. I nearly got myself there. Glad, glad I taught that one through. So this one, one of these two has to be a mine to satisfy this one. This three is currently only touching like this one guaranteed mine. So if, oh my god. No, we're still not confirmed. Uh, what it is, is that both of these can't be, so this one definitely is, right? Which is the opposite of what I was <laughs> initially saying, so I'm glad I taught that one out. But because that one, right, one of these has to be, and the other one can't be, which means that this has to be one to satisfy this three, one, two, and then three. And because of that, this one is now touching three, which means that we can clear away this one, which means that this is what's left for that logic. Uh, this three is touching these three, so we can get rid of that two. And then we've, we're kind of at an impasse with that corner. We could start maybe using some more clever logic, uh, or we can just move on to a different part of the map, so that's what I'm going to do. There's a free mine. That one's just on its tod. And that's touching two, so we get rid of that one, and now we can clear away that one. This is only touching these two now, so there it goes. This is now touching, you know, a mine, so we get rid of that. That's touching the one mine that's there, and we've got a whole new island. Great. Um, let's see. This two is only touching these two, and now that's touching three, and that's touching two, so that is definitely... Sorry, fucked it up. Definitely not a mine. Getting my controls confused. Um, this two is now touching two. This three is now only touching one, two, and three, so that's definitely a mine. That's touching two and that's touching one, so we can get rid of those, that's touching one. This leaves this one green square for the four, so that's that's a mine. Uh, let's see, this is touching one already on that corner, so that's not one, but that means that this is now a corner, so that's touching, yeah, it's touching mine. Now we're in an interesting situation. So, <clears throat> We can go from some early logic to like look at this one two one. It can't be these two because then this one would be touching two. It can't be these two because then this one would be touching two. So it's got to be these two. That means that these ones are now clear. This two is now touching two. Interesting. One of these two has to be the mine to satisfy this three. So that means that this one can't be. Otherwise that two would be in violation. And then that answers it for us because this three is now only touching these three squares. Oh, wow. Which means that we now have the answer to that three, and now that two. This two is now only these, and now that's, that three is satisfied. That two is satisfied by these two. This one is touching that one. Get rid of those. This one is touching that one. Get rid of those. Um, so just in case it wasn't clear, whenever I'm clicking the number with both mouse buttons, when it's already got its like number of mines satisfied, it just clears out the eight surrounding tiles because I'd just be doing that manually if I if I wasn't using that. So this three is touching these two, that's a mine. Which means that this three, also now touching these three, satisfied. This two needs that, that one. And so now this one is touching a mine, so we don't, you know, we, we can use that. Now that's an inner corner, so this one is now satisfied, and now that one's touching this mine. Boom! Whew. I'm going to end up doing this whole thing, aren't I? Uh, that's fine. Fine with me. Sucks for you if you're bored of the video. Uh, here is like free mine scenario. That has to be a mine. It's got the one on the corner, but like it's a green tile in an island. It's it's going to be a mine. Um, and that means, that, oh look, this two is only touching this one, so that's one. And then this four is only touching these four. So that's one. And now that means that that two is satisfied by these two. Get rid of them. That two and this one are both satisfied. So that clears out that. And now we've got a new inner corner to work on this one. Bam. And that's a one. All these ones are satisfied by that one mine. New corner. One, one. New corner just down here. So that's one, which means that two is satisfied. Now this two is satisfied. 
And now it can't be that one. That one is touching this one. Don't fall for that. But this two now only has one square, so that's it. And then this three only has one extra square. And now this two needs this this square, so then this satisfied, satisfied. That that's touching these two. That's touching this one. Get rid of it. Three ones. That that's a mine. This two is only touching these two. That's a mine. And this three is only on this little corner. So that's like a perfect little three there. It's not touching anything else. That's that. Get rid of that one because it's touching touching that mine there. We've got an inner corner up here, so I'm going up here. There we go, it's a mine. Get rid of the ones on that one. Ooh. Ooh -hoo. One of these two has to be. This is a three, so this one definitely is. Um, this is an inner one. Not touching anything else, so that's a mine, which means that two is satisfied. Which means that this one isn't a mine, which means that this one is. So because this two had these two mines, it's like it eliminates that one. Satisfies this three and this two. This two, touching those two, that's touching this one. <sighs> this two's touching these two, this two's touching these two. So we could have kind of logic this one, but whatever. This three is now touching these and this, so that's done. Uh, likewise, this three is only touching these three squares. So that one's done, which means this one is done. This three is touching only those three. So that's the three on a corner, that's done. We've got a new inner corner one there, so that's one which gets rid of that. And uh, this three is also satisfied by these three now, so it gets rid of that one. This two is on a on a straight edge here, so that's that's two. That two is satisfied. And now we're in more ambiguous territory. Uh, one of these two has to be uh, to satisfy the four. So we can get rid of these two from this three. This three is only touching this one, so that's that four solved now. And that three is touching three, and that two is touching two, and this one is touching one. So now we're up to here, and like these two are touching that, those two squares, so that's that. Uh, this four is now only touching these two and these two, so bow, bow. Uh, that four is now satisfied, and this two is now satisfied, so we can get rid of that square. And this two is now satisfied, so we can get rid of that one. This is a four, but don't worry, it's like one, two, three, four, so pow, pow, done. Uh, this two, this two is now satisfied, so get rid of that square. We're getting some more difficult ones here. This two is satisfied, get rid of that one. Like, so when I get to a bit where it's like, ah, uh, it's looking a bit harder, just, just go along the coastline and see what's been revealed. Uh, and the answer in this case is kind of fuck all. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think I've solved that three, though. Yeah, so because this three is surrounded by two twos, and each of these twos is currently touching a mine, it can't be these two for this three, because then this two would be touching three. Likewise, it can't be these two for this three, because then this two would be touching three. So it's these. So now this two is only touching two, this two is only touching two, and this three is touching three. And that's and that's them. And that gives us this two. Yeah, it's the same thing, just following it on through, following it on through. This two is now satisfied. This is now a four, that's scary, but then this three down here only has one square left, so that's it, and that's that four, and that's that two, so get rid of them. That one is touching this one, get rid of that. This two is now only touching this one, and now that three is touching three, and that two is touching two, so get rid of them, and that gives us a one. That's nice, and then this two is only touching this two, and then that two's on a straight edge with that one, so we could have figured that out anyway. This two is now touching these two, so get rid of them. This two is now only touching that one, so get that two for you. This two is touching this square and this square, and that's it. And also we've developed a corner three at some point. This three is now touching these three. Just a free four there, why not? Let's see. One of these two has to be the mine for these pair of threes, because uh, this three, both of the threes are already touching this three is already touching two, so these are the only two squares that this three is touching. This three is also only touching two, but you can get rid of them because it has to be one of these two. Uh, and that's that solved it for us because this two is touching two, so get rid of all the surrounding squares and that leaves that one for that three. That goes out this three. Uh, one of these two has to be, in fact it has to be this one because of this three, which means that two is satisfied, which means that this four is these two and those two. And this four is also touching four, so we can get rid of the one remaining square there. Getting to the end game now. This two is only touching these two, so that four is done thanks to that. And now that's only touching one, so that solves this three, which 
gives us the one again. That'll be interesting potentially. Uh, these t two threes are only touching this extra one, so solve that. And then we've got a big flat line, so it's like, okay, go back to the corner. And the corner gives us this gift of this two, which is only touching this one, so that's a mine, which solves this two, which solves this one, which then gives us this one for that three, and that solves this one down here. That two is now solved, this two is that, and we can use our one-to-one -one logic to ensure that that two is, you know, it's only touching those two, so that's that. Uh, this one has to be one to satisfy this two, so that's just the same as like the inner one corners, but with a two. Um, so that's that one. And this two is now touching two, so that's not a mine, but this is because of that four and that two. And that two, which means that that's expert, well, hard done. So, hopefully that was kind of slow and actually explained enough to, to show you how you can go about doing that kind of thing. Uh, shut up. Um, yeah, and so this will probably be my final Minesweeper video, because that's really all there is to it. That's all there is to Minesweeper. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Uh, and now maybe it's time to play another game. See you later.